other opening day, they don't feel the same, you know, 26 years later, do they? Um, <laughs> they actually do. I mean, they're, they're, um, it's, it's very, it's a celebration here in Detroit, right, mm -hmm. right of spring. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it, they don't get old. I mean, they still get nervous, right. you know, before they come and yeah. How did you just get into this role? Obviously, you know, Michigan State, you made the move to go over there with that program that they have there. It kind of speaks for itself mm -hmm. with one of the best in the country. Just how did you find yourself in this role working for the Tigers? Um, through Michigan State, really. I uh, went to Michigan State, um, got a job with the Toronto Blue Jays at the spring training facility. And then um, through Michigan State as well, um, I found out about uh, West Michigan job. Mm -hmm. And um, applied for that, and I got that job. So I was there five and a half years in the minors, and yeah. then Tigers called. So it's a similar grind for you getting here to it is than some of the players yeah, in this organization. Yeah, so um, this is my 31st opening day, I guess. You're the first woman in this role in Major League Baseball. First, yes. There's not the only, but. Not the only now, but first. I mean, there's got to be pride in kind of starting that that wave and you know inspiring others isn't there it was more yeah more nerve-wracking than anything yeah. really i mean i was 28 and um you know just a baby yeah. <laughs> um but it, it, yes i take pride in it now mm -hmm. you know um i don't think a lot of women get into this just because because of the type of work it is mm -hmm. unless you like being outside right. working in dirt and grass mm -hmm. and stuff like that it's probably not for everybody, but there are some out there. I'm one of them, and uh, Nicole over in Baltimore is one of them. Um, and there's a lot more coming up, and um, yeah, it's, it's nice to see. Just the day-to-day -day for you guys. I mean, the team takes the field. They're on the field probably three hours tops between warm-ups game and after. Yeah. You guys are here early, you're here late. Just what goes into the day? What makes it so enjoyable? Um, it's a grind, obviously. Um, you know, so many games and doing the repetitive things over and over. But it gets to be... Um, it gets to be a routine, and you almost feel comfortable doing it. You, you know, you go in, you do your skin work, you do your, right. your mowing, your watering, you know, your repairing of the mounds, plates, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And everyone takes pride in their area. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it, August gets a little, you know, like we have a small group, and right. you know, things can get a little testy when we start, start having concerts and, right. and things like that. Um, but all in all. Yep. It's fun. I love it. I guess just how much pride is it, though, you know, tending to a Major League Baseball field, you know, yearly and having so much pride in doing that for this organization? Um, well, a lot of pride. I'm, I'm from Michigan, right. which not a lot of groundskeepers are from their home state that work in Major League Baseball. Um, so I feel really proud doing that. I, I saw the 84 team when I was 14, and it was the field, always mm -hmm. the field. You know, you walk in and you see this beautiful green grass and... Mm -hmm. I didn't know I could do it for a living, and Michigan State had the program, and here I am. I'm sure with it, you've probably had some neat experiences, neat encounters. Do you have any that kind of stand out over the years? Um, boy, oh boy. Only the bad ones. I don't want to share those. I, uh, nice. uh, let's see. Um, I'm at a, a loss. It's been a long day. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really can't think of one right now. And then just lastly, I mean, you got another 26 of these in you, or uh, I mean, just well, when do you... How much are you still 26. enjoying it? I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. Still, I still look forward to opening day and, and getting back into it. It's nice because it's quiet here in the winter time. Um, some other teams, you know, that are in the West Coast or South, they have you know events all year long. And mm -hmm. I mean that could happen here, but um, reality of it happening all the time. It's just it's a nice break, even right. if there is events in the winter time. It's just a nice break from baseball, and then we just look forward to spring, and here we go.